F1 Manager has a crazy glitch with development. You can use this to create unbelievably OP parts on your car and get your car massively up the grid. I'm going to show you how it works with Red Bull and then I'm going to show you how it works with Williams because this is just so overpowered, it's utterly broken. So, first of all, I'm going to max out my CFD and wind tunnel hours. They're going to reset in 42 days anyway, as you probably know. And have a look here. At this point, my average gain on my chassis part is going to be about 61%. 61% gain. But have a look at this. If I max out these bars, and this isn't it, but if I max out these bars, my average gain is already going to go up to 68%. So I'm already getting a huge increase there. But have a look at this as well. If I tweak these bars strategically, my drag reduction is now going to go up to 80%. My car is going to have 80% drag reduction. It's basically going to be a fish and engine cooling and airflow have increased as well. So my car is still getting better for engine cooling and airflow, but my drag reduction is absolutely insane. That is a 20% increase. Now I'm going to show you here with the underfloor, similar thing, but as you may know, high speed parts are really overpowered in F1 Manager at the moment generally, and we're going to absolutely turbocharge it with this glitch. So I'm going to continue. And again, I'm going to be strategic with the bars. And I want you to have a look on the right hand side. Have a look at the percentage increase for high speed. Like where we're going to get to here is utterly insane. We're going to go from 41% in what is already a very good car, the Red Bull, to 48% on high speed. I mean, that is just going to be untouchable. And this part we're going to build, we can build it within one window. You can see here, I'm going to max out my engineers. I'm going to go to rushed approach. And that is pretty much going to be just one window before the hours reset. So you can do this on a per window basis and each window just get a massively, massively, massively OP car. So if you are doing development in F1 Manager and if you want to maximize your performance, do not leave your bars there unbalanced. You want to be maxing your bars out one way or the other. It depends if you want to do it generally or not. I'm going to show you here with Williams because I know a lot of us are starting with teams like Williams, Aston Martin and trying to get them up the grid as quickly as possible. And have a look here at the average for Williams when it comes to, let's do high speed again. So Williams at the moment are 17th on the grid for high speed. So we are right at the back and the average for high speed is 34.84% when it comes to that performance part, um, or the performance parts contributed to a high speed percentage of 34 So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do the same thing with Williams on the front wing. So let's design a front wing here and go massively, massively, massively OP. And let's see what happens. So again, I'm going to max out the CFD. I'm going to max out the wind tunnel hours. This is going to be the part that we create in the first um, basically window of production. And I'm going to go and tweak the bars now. And I want you to have a look at high speed. It was 34.84 was the grid average. And we know the Williams is right at the back. And you can see here by tweaking the bars, we are going to get our high speed pretty much at the grid average. So we're going to take a Williams from right at the back. And in one upgrade, we're going to get the high speed cornering of the Williams right in that midfield. And it's only going to take us 30 days. I mean, that is absolutely incredible. This is massively overpowered. Let me know what we think about this. Make sure you like, subscribe if you want to see more glitches and kind of tweaks and stuff to increase performance in the game, by the way. Thank you so much you made it this far. But let me know in the comments what you think about this. Are you going to be doing this or not? Is this actually unrealistic? Are you just going to develop balanced parts because this will break the game for you? I'm very interested to know how you are approaching get for manager. Are you trying to keep it realistic? Or are you trying to, you know, can we get Gotifi to like become an eight time world drivers champion? Now, if you do want other tips to improve your performance in F1 Manager, go check out this other video on the screen. I've got some great tips for you in there as well. And when you bring it all together, well, I hope you're going to be getting those results on track. Let me know how it goes.